For her age to be able to be that good, she really, I mean, she would almost have to turn into that character to get as good as she got well, for this role. And that's what's amazing about this film, too, at least for me, because, you know, any, any yeah, hey, you want to go see a movie about a ballerina? Not really. But watching this, I was like, wow, I, I became fascinated with this whole world of ballet, even though it's being depicted from the the the, the point of view of this tragic character uh, that you see just striving to be perfect in every way, shape, or form, and to where you sympathize with her, because you, you kind of see a little bit, at least for me, I was like, you kind of see a, bit, a little bit of yourself in that character as far as like striving to be the best, not wanting to disappoint anyone, almost trying to outdo your peers just so somebody can notice you. Wait, you, you know? see that? <laughs> <laughs> to outshine everyone around me? Of course. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. It's called six, 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 To the point of six, I will kill you if six, I don't. Yeah. He's sitting back smoking a spliff. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's just like me. That's, yeah. exactly like that's, me. that's what I could be like. I'm going to eat this bag of chips yeah. better than anybody else that I know. You see, he's up there with a tutu on eating some like, Frito-Lays. With a tutu? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it also helps that you're like, watching that's, this. That's why I don't work that hard at my job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know, it also helps that you're watching this movie. It's like being on drugs and watching ballet. I mean, you know, there's, some there's, of it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, well, it's, I mean, this, this, it's it. trippy. Well, this movie is very centered in paranoia. I mean, I was I was about to say earlier that you know, I mean, everything that is happening to this to this girl, she's having to please her mom. She's having to please her instructor. She, and then it doesn't help that she she is befriended by Mila Kunis in the in the dance troupe. And she doesn't know if this is a real friend, or if this is somebody who's after her role. Well, you know well they, I mean? they show the, the the culture, which from every ballerina I talk to says it's true. It's just a bunch of a catty girl, catty girls who smoke and, and you, know, you know drink coffee all the time yeah, and, and, and make don't each other. hate each other and hate each other. Yeah, they, they, they established that early on. There's that, only room for yeah. a few to be the star, and the yeah. rest are just window dressing. You know, uh, <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's the way it works in that world. And so this is the story about that. One of the main themes they discussed in here was, of course, doppelgangers, which is mm. where one of the big things he got his ideas from for this film is that, you know, I mean, the mythological sense of doppelgangers and just everything else that comes with that, because the core story is really about that. I mean, the white swan and the black swan are always played by the same actor, right. but they're two <laughs> opposing warring sides of the personality. And Mila Kunis sort of represents in the film the more black swan type of personality, the unbridled sexuality and the sense of freedom, but, but with no self-control. And Natalie Portman is that total self-control, but absolutely just not someone you'd want to date. I'm gonna get into some things that I probably didn't like so much about the movie, and they're very they're very small because I wasn't bowled over by the film. I really like this film a lot. It is one of the best movies I've seen this year. But I, I like that. <laughs> look at him, look it, at me. Uh, no, uh, no, I know, I know you. Ready. Leap across the room. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know you're the one. Cyrus, we can feel it. We we, we can yeah. feel the waves. What is the way he's? Man, he just le- you see why he's leaning? Yeah, back? He, he's you, get, like, you get in a position. You try to make it look relaxed, but your 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 muscles are coiled like springs. It's only yeah. so I can reach the butterfly knife. I, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> waiting for him to tell you. Did you not pay attention to the film? <laughs> <I know. laughs> no, 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 I already used that one on Leon. Yeah. Read that goddamn book. <laughs> no, he's 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 already uh, and hunched over. His tail is flicking. <laughs> My ears are back. Yeah. Are you sure he's not you, Corey? <laughs> Me! Oh, I haven't started hissing yet. <laughs> but you know that what I do like about this movie, like very much like the wrestler. Now we saw. I, I never saw it, but I. I've seen clips of The Fountain, Darren Aronofsky's big visual opus, where the money was up there on the screen. This movie by Hollywood standards is pretty cheap. I think it was like 10 to 11 million dollars, 12 million dollars, something like that. And he filmed it sort of in the same way that the wrestler was filmed. It's, I don't know what he used to film it with, uh, whether it was like a low film grade or was video, uh, some high form of digital video, but it is very muted in its colors, very gritty. But unlike the wrestler, what he did was he kind of took the, the sort of the, fa- the fountain and mixed it with the wrestler in that you have this grittiness and this realistic look to it, but there are certain scenes where these visual effects are just mixed in with it, and it's pretty seamless. And I was very impressed with that. I, I like when special effects are put into a movie where they don't stand out, and not only do they, do they fit within what you're doing, but they make you kind of take a second look. They kind of mess with your head, or they're kind of like, well, I never noticed that that special effect morphed itself into this scene like it did. What I didn't like about the movie is... I didn't have a whole lot of emotional attachment to it. Well, Leon and I were just talking about this. I, I Maybe because I knew where this was going, I'm not going to give too much away, but I kind of guessed what was happening. And I don't know if, it's, if 
they were even trying to hide it. I don't even know if there was supposed to be some kind of twist. I thought there was. I didn't feel that. I knew you were going to say that because I talked to somebody else who had the same said the same thing. I was like, wow, I didn't think that that was ever something you were supposed to like not guess. They were like right from the beginning. They were like, you know, telling you this is what's happening. So it's not really a twist. It's, well, it's the a, plot it's, of the film. It's you a know? story you've seen before. I mean, yeah. you've seen it before, and the, you can see the wrestler, the movies we just mentioned. I I really was sympathizing for. Her. I mean, I felt like uh, this is a tragic character, and this is this goes on with people every day. I mean, yeah, just to, they're strive to perfection to where you know they just they they do go insane, and they end up you know it's it, it's never it's never a happy ending usually. Yeah. I love how they they did intertwine the real world with her crazy you know her her craziness to where the fantasy world kind of blends in to where it it helps tell the story well, I think which is what i love the strength biggest strength here is it's an absolute interplay between the director and the actress i mean they were obviously you know on the same page absolutely for this entire film and it's it's amazing it's like watching like two people two great people dancing together who are really good yeah and know each other that well because she is i mean she just nails it beyond any expectation she, she I does. had. Yeah. and to me i think this is aronofsky's best film as well that he's mm-hmm. he is much more into this than he has been in anything else that he's done so far mm-hmm. and those things alone gave me the power that translated into the emotional reaction I had. I mean, at the end of the film, I was in tears by the end of this film. I mean, just by the sheer, you know, Gosh. weight of the thing, the <laughs> effect of it. I really shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you were rusting like you were rusting like a tin man in no. *The Wizard of Oz*. And you know it. All I said at the end of that, that movie was, "Damn, that was fucked up." <laughs> I know. This I, I thought it was really <laughs> p- profoundly powerful. Cyrus is sitting up there in his tutu. <laughs> <laughs> man, well, well, we've been doing almost, almost. Almost nothing but but praise this movie, and I, I I subscribe to every praise it's been given. I mean, I can't. Do you, do you have anything that you didn't like about it? Uh, well, I give it a full price for all the reasons that we we name. You know, the acting, the dance, the cinematography, uh, and at the same time, I have to agree with Corey. Uh, almost like I- exactly, it was Ooh. it was one of those where, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I went through the whole thing where, um, you know. Uh, I, I was like, okay, it starts out like, wow, this bitch is crazy. And, you know, that, that just never really changes. It, it gets worse, but it's like when it, honestly, when it ended, I didn't think that was the end. I was like, ooh, now what's gonna happen? And I was like, <laughs> oh shit, the credits. Okay, I guess that was it. And, uh, I mean, you know, for me, I didn't have an emotional connection w- to her character just because I was like, wow, she's really out there. Um, and it may, you know, with the wrestler, I did because I was wondering. I was like, okay, maybe I'm not loving this movie because everybody told me how it's great. It's the best movie of the year. I had great expectations. Which that could be really annoying. True, and true. I, I, yeah. I thought maybe that's yeah. it, but now I was like, well, shit. That was the same thing they did with the wrestler, and I absolutely love that movie. I had so much sympathy for that character, and it could be just that that level of you know that lay of reality that the wrestler had that this didn't, or I just really you know could I, a, identify. He was, he was a sympathetic. Character. He was he was completely really? sympathetic, and he had like the, the kind of life where I'm like, man. If things don't go well with Spill. This could be us. <laughs> <laughs> in a, in a way, that's why I feel like that was such a different movie than. That. No, no, it is. It, it is. it is different. I mean, you know, for all the th- uh, thematic similarities, it, it is different. You yeah, know, I mean, this this steps out and does more. I like I said, I'm not trying to take anything away from sure. it. I'm saying me personally. Why you didn't have it? Yeah, why I didn't have it exactly? Yeah. But I still give it a full price. Yeah, I, I I thought it was a brilliant film too. I mean, I I, I just have complaints. Where well, I think some people are not going to complain. Are they going to be? It's already got that label of being the best film of the year. People are going to be scared to say anything bad about it no i mean there's some flaws in there and to me i did think there was some kind of reveal and i predicted it and i don't think that worked it was some old well i ain't gonna compare. i've seen this whole i've seen this played out <laughs> you about to say old bullshit i, I know yeah, no, I, I, no, I, I, no, no 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 i was Damn, gonna, I was gonna say the title of a film and that'd be giving too much away i've seen this i've seen this done this type of movie done every year except that this is the type of movie that did it with such brilliant craftsmanship that Although I didn't have an emotional attachment to this girl because, I mean, this is the kind of person I would stay away from. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? I, I, Corey, wait, I, I think all of us know yeah. different. Yeah, that's, that's not You're telling me you're going to stay away from a girl who looks as hot as Nally Portman. Yeah, Give me a fucking theory. break. That's, that's way sure. too much evidence. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bullshit, Corey. Okay, this is the dick I would stay away from after a week of sex. Yeah. But, yeah, but like once I've had... Was, yes. Someone tell you, hey, man, that girl came in with Cyrus. You'd be all... I'd be like Tabitha Cassell all over... Yeah. Mm, you smell like Cyrus. <laughs> but I you tell you, like man, Cyrus. I, the, the, even though I might have not felt like uh, sympathetic for this girl or whatever, I did. The, the movie did give me the feeling 
of madness. Whatever she was going through, I might not have been sympathetic for, but I related to her. I was losing my mind by the end of the movie because <laughs> I, I, I said, but it goes to the effects, goes to the direction, it goes to just the the tempo of the movie, how built up. I mean, it's so well choreographed with the music that when this ballet builds up to its climax, the movie does too. And at this point, I just felt it. And I was just like, wow, I, I need to take a breather after this because I feel like I've just lost my fucking mind right now. <laughs> and I, I you know, yeah, it, it definitely is one of the best movies of the year for the reasons that I've stated. Uh, it has flaws, but Darren Aronofsky is a great director where you can overlook those very much. It's a, definitely a way big full price for me. Yeah, um, this is a high full price for me, definitely. Uh, I, I didn't have that problem with the connection, but that's because, you know, I'm always seeking perfection the same way. <laughs> sometimes I, yeah, how's that working out sometimes for you? I have to cut myself. <laughs> <laughs> it helps the pain. Cut, go cut down, not sideways. <laughs> it's much better than what I'm feeling inside. Uh, but, you know, this is one of the first films in a long time that I, I saw with a couple friends, and that where you sit there and no one can move after it's over. I mean, you're just sitting there in the credits and nothing's happening in the credits, but you just no one can move or say anything. You just kind of sit there adapting and adjusting and trying to bring yourself back to reality because oh, the yeah. film has so grabbed you and pulled you into its crazy world. Yeah, no, it's a high full price. I adore this film. I, I'd be shocked if I see anything else in the couple weeks we have left before the yeah, end of the it, year that's bad. It ain't gonna happen. Well you know this is this is just one of those films like I said I mean I, I love films about obsessive people. I love films about guys who dress up as bats. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that, this, this film like re- nice. it really like t- I mean after especially after hearing all the praise it's one of those things where I'm like oh, I wish I didn't hear all that shit because I feel like in some ways it may skew my view. Like uh and thank God it didn't because I mean I was completely and totally invested in this story. Uh I I, I, I did kind of feel sorry for this girl every once in a while. Uh and I, I loved Nally Portman's performance. Darren o- Aronofsky, you're right. They they were doing a dance together on screen. I'd be lying to myself if I didn't give this movie a better than sex. I'm sorry, I, I, but, you I, know, I have to this is a movie I've been waiting for. Wow. Why can't fucking Disney make something like this that I want to see? Anime? Oh God damn it! Now you're just going crazy, <laughs> shit. Okay, all right, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I shut you up. <laughs> enough. Isn't it time for you two to come out? <laughs> no, I got my permit one today. <laughs> oh, good. Congratulations. See, we we like eliminated catchphrases, and it's no good. Yeah, you know. You, you know something we we failed to mention. We keep talking about the mom, but Barbara Hershey, right? Yeah, uh, she's Barbara. I said Barbara Hershey. Barbara. Yeah, Barbara, Barbara Hershey. Hershey. She's she definitely puts in. I think it's going to be an underappreciated performance because she just doesn't have a whole lot in here. But she's she's pretty frightening in this. Yeah, she's she's not fantastic. As much yeah. screen time as you expect yeah. she's going to. And when the movie starts, you feel like okay, a lot of this film is going to be really about her relationship and her daughters. But it's more implied than you actually get to see it. Yeah. No. It's, it's no. She's. I, I thought she was great. Everybody turns in a really good performance. Uh, Mila Kunis is going to get a lot of attention for this. I mean, people are going to start stop seeing her like, as Meg, like I do. <laughs> I think yeah. They gotta start seeing her at. Yeah, yeah I think <laughs> she's, she, she's gonna get a, offered a lot of roles as lesbian lovers. So. I hope so. I mean, you know, that's what did it for me when she took those clothes off and had on that garter belt. I was like, oh, Meg dude. would never look that good. Oh, <laughs> and I, I mean, I don't know if, if you guys did, but I especially appreciated the scene where. Um, when Natalie Portman steals stuff from Winona Ryder. <laughs> I just, oh, man, yeah. I saw that too. <laughs> I was like, I know so many girls like that. And how ironic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that coming. <laughs> People, if, if you don't know, and, and I'm just going to put it out there in this podcast. Uh, no, what's her name? Uh, Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder was actually, I'm going to say what story where I heard it, but she was caught stealing here in Austin. And in Austin? Oh, too? I know about Austin. Yes. And, I knew it happened and, elsewhere. And was and was told, just like anybody else, I don't give a fuck. Y- y'all don't care if you Winona Ryder. Don't come back in here no more, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you shit, thieving dude. bitch. <laughs> so when I saw this movie, I was just kind of like, this has got to be an end joke. I, I mean, Winona Ryder must, I, I almost thought they cast well, her because of that. It was famous when she got busted for shoplifting because she had like, there was some family that was in crisis. She helped them out and they came to testify for her. Like, she's a good person. She'd done this. And they were like, well, we got her on tape. Stealing. Oh, I thought you were going to be like the family came in to, to testify for her and they were like, wait a minute, where's our wallet? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my sweet girl? She's gone. 